So basically what happened guys is I uh, caught some errors going on with the car. The temperature was out of whack. It was saying it was 111 degrees outside, which it's never been that hot, at least in the state of Florida. Um, my travel link hookup where I can, you know, see different features like gas stations around and the weather map and, you know, movies and stuff like that, stuff that I don't use, but you know, it's the principle of my car came like that. And, you know, I just want to make sure that it's all there when I get it back. So the guy's looking at it now. Um, he did say that uh, there was another customer that had the same issue and they ended up having to call FCA. I hope that's not the case because I'm not sure what I would do from that point. But um, yeah, the actual screen was saying uh, there's no signal. See dealer for more information. And also too, um, the time is showing up incorrectly. I had to change it manually, but it's not grabbing the time from GPS time and it's not showing whether it's AM or PM. So, you know, minor things, but you know, I just want to make sure I got it fixed. That's why I did a thorough, you know, look around the radio because I know that's a sensitive area. Oops, sorry, my bad guys. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm just waiting. Well, more time now, but I'd rather get it done straight. So hopefully, everything can be resolved and um, I can have a smile on my face by the end of this video. It's, it's probably super loud, but I'm on North Florida and I haven't been here in a while, but man, a whole bunch of people be racing on this road, but I was walking to the um, little Cuban sandwich spot right here because, you know, I haven't eaten all day. And I was just like, you know, watch the car. I seen a Porsche Panamera get it. I seen the Cayenne get it. I seen a Hellcat get it on this road. I was like, damn, I wonder why the cop presence be heavy over here. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, I just got the call from the dealer that uh, the radio's all set. So I guess we'll see um, if everything is all set. Yo, let me, let me try and see if I can catch one of these cats racing. Good boy, it'd be accelerating, boy. Even the ones with the non-fast motors, they step on it. Let's see. Nope, everybody's driving regular now. Bet you as soon as I flip, I bet you as soon as I flip this damn camera off, that's when people are gonna start accelerating again. They got some lead foots on this road. That's the Dodge dealership, y'all. About to head over there and see what's good. But first I gotta cross this busy ass road. So, uh, let me, uh, let me go ahead and knock this camera off because I'm not trying to record and cross the street at the same time. That's just stupid. All right, guys. Looks like we are in business. At least I think we are. All right, so check me out. This is the stuff that I was saying that wasn't working. Travel link. So let me click on travel link now. It pulls up and uh, let's do something basic like the weather map. There we go, guys. We're pulled all the way up. Remove it to get to it. Now, now it's firm in there and not upside down. All right, cool. Sweet. All right, guys. Um, this is take two. I didn't realize I wasn't recording, but uh, yeah, this is why you guys need to check the work of when your car is worked on at the end of the day because the dealership. They're never gonna care about your car the way you care about your car. And also too, these mechanics, they got their own lives too and you don't know what they going through or, or their level of knowledge on the vehicle, right? This particular incident, I think was just a mistake and it ended up being rectified on the radio. But also too, now we have a, uh, I guess you would say a customer service has quality control. I think issue, uh, I just wanna point it out to you guys. See how close I am to the curve? Look at this shit right here. Look at this. My tire is kissing the curve. Thank God for what it looks like. Um, there's no rim rash. But let me check the other sides. This one looks pretty good. Um, this one looks pretty good again guys just 
checking the people's work. But yeah, so not, not a good look on that. Um, let me go grab a thumbnail because I think that's going to be the thumbnail on the video right here. finger that's the thumbnail Whoop. all right guys so it looks like the other things are working like fuel prices only working there goes my laser oh, again oh, my oh, uh, oh. copper radar i mean i uh, just bounced out of it let's see if movie listings it's still please wait so i'm pretty sure it's just loading the information um like i said i know it's working all the other things are working so I'll just give that some more time. Like, you know, with sports, it's loading that stuff too. But the main things that I cared about is weather, weather map, which that's working. Um, fuel prices, I don't care about. But the indication is that I see everything else working. So it's probably just downloading stuff, you know, off the signal. The time is working correctly, and my sensor is working correctly. It's no longer 111 freaking degrees outside. It is 94, which is more realistic. This is going to be the end of this video. My name is Jordan. Um, this is Modern Day Muscle. If you've been paying attention to Free Smoke, you know I am going to Georgia March 20th and then Dallas April 10th. My car will be at both events. And this is basically my, you know, journey of getting the car. You know, everything that I had an issue with, with, with the car, I'm trying to get everything tied together pretty good before going to Dallas. I'll see you guys in the next video.